there are a few different modes that I go into when I'm producing. There's the one mode where I'm actually hands on everything, right? The other mode is you don't know that I'm pushing strings because I put the people in the right place to do what I need to get done. So I'm still in control, but it doesn't look like it. It's your team. It's my team. So there's a point that Mike came up to Quincy. He goes, uh, Quincy, what do you do? And I thought that was so cool that he asked that question because Quincy is the guy, I, I brought that musician in because I knew what I was gonna get. I brought this engineer in because I knew what I was gonna get. I brought this songwriter in, I brought these background singers because I knew what I was gonna get. So by the time I sit in the seat, it looks as if I'm not doing nothing. But yeah, I've already, everything. yeah, I've already orchestrated everybody to be here for this. So that's one mode of having control without looking like it's control. Tell everyone who Quincy is. Oh my goodness. You guys need to know who Quincy Jones is. I'm sure there's one person here that's Quincy. Oh my goodness. Man, thriller? Like, Quincy is probably. What? And again, I have, I have a top, my top five producers. He's, he's my number one because I love his approach to um, making a record. He understands how to take a song from a song and produce a final product. There may be some, it, it's so meticulous the stuff that he does, but the way that he does it, he's working psychologically and people doesn't, they don't even know it. 